Okay, here we go. It's going to be cold. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is the first snowfall. Sorry, that truck was probably loud. This is the first snowfall here in the Okanagan. The, uh, the Wabasto has been cycling as it's supposed to, keeping us toasty warm inside. Good morning. It is late November here in Canada and it is getting very cold outside and I thought I would take this opportunity to talk about some of the heating systems that we use here in the bus. I will be living here inside the bus all winter providing it doesn't get too cold. Uh, expected temperatures here in the Okanagan keep us around freezing most of the time and extreme temperatures will drop into the minus 20s and minus 30s celsius uh, so we'll see how the bus fares when it gets that cold yes yeah, so we've had some cold nights already the wabasto kicks in and keeps us toasty warm when the electric heaters can't keep up and so far it's been really good so let's uh let's go inside where it's a little bit warmer Hello and welcome. Here in the bus, we have two heating systems. We have a 120 volt electric heating system and we have a heated coolant loop uh, that we use to heat the inside of the bus. Okay, so that's one of the tow kick heaters there. This is underneath the cabinet at the front, right behind the driver's seat. And that one is controlled here. This is the electric thermostat that controls the front electric heater. It's just your bog standard home thermostat. And back here in the bedroom, we have the second electric tow kick heater. And it's located here. There we go. It's located here in the bedroom. Yeah, turn on some lights, why don't you? There we go. So, the, the electric tow kick heater in there. And over here, we have another bog standard electric thermostat. This one doesn't even tell us the temperature it's at. Uh, so that thermostat controls the electric heat. And then this thermostat controls the Wabasto register here in the bedroom. And this one regulates my body temperature by sleeping beside me. There is a heated coolant loop running through the bus that we use to keep the inside of the bus warm. What we heat that coolant with is dependent on what we're doing. We can either heat it with the engine, so if we're running down the highway and we need warm air inside the bus, the coolant inside that loop will all be warm and we can blast the warm air inside the bus. If we're sat still and we are in either really cold temperatures or we're in normal cold temperatures but we don't want to use electricity to heat the bus, either the generator or shore power, we can use the Wabasto heater. You can see here, central heat control and interior heat exchangers. Right here it says heater on. Currently that light is off. That light will turn on when the pumps start circulating hot water and when the fire essentially starts in the Wabasto. The Wabasto heater is a diesel fired coolant heater. Uh, so it sits at the very back of the bus in the engine bay. Here is where we keep the Wabasto. Uh, it's underneath this cover here. 
We'll pull out its four bolts. There is our diesel-fired Wabasto heater. This is the control box here, and it explains what all the pins are for. Um, but uh, when I first bought the coach, the Wabasto wasn't firing correctly. Um, and I opened this guy up and inside here there's an old printed circuit board and some of the solder connections were dodgy so I uh, hit it with the old soldering iron and tidied it up. You can see the exhaust goes down here and exits over there. This is the burner compartment. Fuel filters are back there. Yeah, it's not in the best of condition. Maybe this summer we'll give it a, a good once over. try and sneak in through here into the engine bay and then we're gonna look down so here is our stainless Wabasto cover and you should be able to see the coolant lines here and here coming into and out of the burner and then down there we've got our two circulation pumps uh, so those two pumps there actually pump different circuits in the coach. So there's technically two loops inside the coach. Uh, one that does the freeze protection and the hot water heaters, and then the second one does the interior heating. This is the hydronic heating system. So we have our engine block here, and when the engine is hot, it allows coolant to circulate through the system, right? When the engine's not running, our furnace, which is our Wabasto, is running, and it has two uh, circulation pumps. And you'll see right here we have the two hot water tanks that we've just replaced. Uh, these are the coolant lines that go into and out of the back of the tank. So this is not the domestic water system. This is the uh, so these all these lines on here are engine coolant. So when we turn on the Wabasto, it's commanded when to heat up, when to fire and circulate coolant, depending on which switches are on and which thermostats are on. So we have a thermostat here in the galley, uh, and it controls the dash heater and the galley heater. And then there's a separate thermostat in the bedroom that controls this bedroom fan. There's also a thermostat down here that controls this relay which, or, uh, sorry, this solenoid here, which allows hot coolant to flow through this radiator, which keeps our water bay from freezing in super cold temperatures, which we have now. So this is, this is helpful. And when commanded on, it fires up and burns diesel fuel that is used to heat coolant. And then there's circulation pumps that run that coolant around the inside of the coach. Okay, and then here in the bedroom, underneath this special flap, we have another central hydronic heat control knob that we can control the speed of the fan here in the bedroom. And we are still here in the back bedroom. This is another wooden panel hiding our electrical panels. And you can see under here we've got all of our breakers. And if we zoom in, you will see there on the right, one labeled Rear Electric Heat. Uh, and then if we go down, and if we scan down here, this one says Front Electric Heat. And then here in the kitchen, so there's Miss Oreo Cookie sitting in my editing chair. And up here on the mirror, we have one last thermostat. This one is for controlling the Wabasto heat register for the front of the bus. So here at the front, we have more controls. Once the forward kitchen thermostat decides that the Wabasto needs to heat the kitchen and front lounge, the Wabasto pumps turn on, the Wabasto burner turns on. Once they've reached 
the temperature set in the Wabasto saying, hey, enough of this water is the right temperature and circulating, then the central heat control fans turn on. So we have two separate fan speeds for the two separate registers here in the front of the bus. We have a galley fan speed and a dash fan speed. Uh, so we can choose how much heat we get in which part of the bus if that uh, is important. So the galley one is here underneath this cabinet. And the dash register is that one there. Yeah, it's like a little heat exchanger like you would find in your car. So it uh, circulates hot coolant and then a little fan blows across it and it fills the cabin with warm air. Uh, it w really works quite nicely. Um, I'm not sure how efficient it is, but it's better than nothing. Okay, so if we turn on the central heat control, that commands the Wabasto to turn on and it starts monitoring the thermostat in the water bay and it monitors the thermostat on the hot water tank. If either of those are closed and commanded to produce hot water uh, or heat, then the Wabasto pumps will turn on and they'll start circulating coolant. If they find that the thermostats reach temperature just because there's warm coolant, then they'll shut off. And if they don't, then they'll circulate the coolant for a while and the burner will fire and the burner will fire and start heating the coolant and it will circulate and circulate and circulate until the thermostats in their respective zones trigger the system to shut off again. Uh, the burner will turn off and the circulation pumps will keep running for a little while and then the circulation pumps will turn off. Okay, we are wandering back to the water bay. I'll show you that thermostat and we'll talk about how that works. So. All right, so this is indeed the water bay. And in here, you can see right there, that is the freeze protection thermostat. And you can see how it's got a, a gauge on it there. So those are in degrees Fahrenheit. So it's not gonna toggle until 25 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, thank you for watching. I hope my explanation of the heating system in my bus has been helpful to you. If you're enjoying this content, please like, share, subscribe, uh, comment down below. Let me know how you're dealing with winter in your RV.